In this video, we will learn how to read a web page in Java. For that, I need to import java.net. And in our main class, I will declare variable of URL class and call it web page and initialize it to null. And another variable of URL connection class. And I will call it connection or con and initialize it to null and now to read a web page we need to pass in the URL of a website or web page to our URL class so we are going to do this web page equals new URL and inside it need to give the URL of the page you want to read from I'm going to use google.com and now I need to open a connection and save it in our URL connection or connection that is our con and I'll call now web page web page dot open connection there's extra s over here it's a web page so need to remove that fix We need to handle an exception. It can throw a exception over here. So I'm just going to surround this code inside a try catch block. So for this URL connection, we're going to add try and catch block. And to keep it simple, I'm just gonna catch exception. And also print exception over here by e dot print stack trace. Now I need to open an input stream from our connection. We can get by calling this function get input stream. So I'm just going to do input stream reader reader and then new input stream reader and need to pass in our connection connection and call this method get input stream and also the content type that will be UDF8 in you the encoding UDF 8 
import stream reader is in Java's IO package. I need to import that one too. I'm just gonna add import Java IO. Now we have this uh, input stream by calling uh, connections method get input stream. It will return us our input stream and we will pass into input stream reader so we can read a line by line. I need to pass this reader to buffer reader. So this is buffer reader and I'll call it buffer and create an object of it buffer reader and need to pass in our input stream reader now we are going to print the content of Google's home page or the page you selected. So we are going to do while true and inside here we are going to read a line and I need to close this loop and then write code inside it. And also I need another variable where I'm going to save each line and print that line. So I'm just gonna declare it over here, string line, and initialize it to empty string. And inside the loop, we are going to call buffer dot read line method and it will return us a line from a web page. So, so we will keep on reading until the line reaches or line becomes null. So over here, and here we can check if line not equals to null. here if line is not null that means we are getting some content we are we will keep on reading and also we will print it on our console so send that out dot print line and I will pass in the line and if line is null we can break out of loop in else condition. Now inside the else, we are going to use break statement. There are some extra curly braces, so you just need to remove those. Everything seems fine now, so just need to run the program and check. You can see the code, HTML code, and JavaScript from Google Web Page. So this code worked. So we are able to read Google's web page with this code. To keep on learning, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep supporting us and thank you for watching.